Next at 10, if you have a freezer stocked with Palermo's frozen pizzas soon, those will be produced right out of Jefferson, Wisconsin. Palermo's announced they are expanding with a new plant, and residents tell our Arman Rahman they see it serving a hot and fresh boost to their local economy. Yeah, Eric and Charlotte Palermo's new plant will open in a food processing facility that city officials tell me became vacant a year ago, displacing about 60 jobs. But come August 2023, Palermo's is set to create more than 100 job opportunities in the city to produce an estimated 50 million frozen pizzas a year. I'm a pepperoni guy. Pepperoni. pepperoni. Yeah, I'm boring. Supreme pepperoni, sausage, mushroom, onion, and green pepper. But what about jobs? Because that's the topping the city of Jefferson is going heavy on. It's 200 uh, good jobs. So uh, it means a lot to the local economy. But the new Palermo's pizza making plant coming this summer. It would be primarily topping. Uh, we have um, two uh, production lines that top pizzas. The CEO of the Milwaukee based company says that will require over 100 of those 200 jobs at the Jefferson location. And so everything that goes along with it. We have um, our whole quality team and um, our HR team and um, um, the plant operations. It's a you know plant operations team, logistics and plant management. The site used to house Tyson and other frozen food companies, so it's already USDA certified. According to Mayor Dale Opperman, it's just one of the many businesses, large and small, wanting a piece of the Jefferson pie. Looks forward to working with them um, just to try to fill those spots because it is a, you know, it's a competitive job market right now. And like I said, we have other uh, local employers that are looking to, to boost their their employment too. City Administrator Tim Freitag says that'll only help the economy. Company obviously, you know, has to have a wage level that will allow them to compete, and that's good. Obviously, there's some tax base enhancement because they will be putting uh, an investment into the facility. It's making stemless wine cups. Existing small business owners like Scott Obernberger. Personally, I think small towns are, are, are the way of the future. Say it'll be a boost no matter how you slice it. The more investment that happens, the more people who come here and, and find Jefferson, the more it's going to help advance all the businesses, whether it's mine or brighter or sign vault or vintage. Now, Palermo says some of those 200 jobs will be at their Milwaukee headquarters. The company is currently hiring and will use a staggered start training program for new positions through 2023 and 2024.